Para, para, para. Para para pa 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 para pa para para pa pa para pa para pa para para pa pa okay final order Para para pa para pa pa para pa. I'm gonna load it in. Okay. This way. Like. Oh, it's just one for now. Fine slab in here, I'm gonna say. Is there? It might be further in. I do not have much supplies and. I have so much more time. Grab that. Make our way slow. Hey, Zell, how are you doing? I'm sorry I haven't been playing this game much. Just a lot of stuff IRL has been uh, piling up. But it's good you're just chilling. Chilling's good. Let me know if I'm a bit too loud. Oh, I have started almost. I'm almost complete. Oh, spider. Ah, spider, spider, spider. Uh, I'm almost done with my next model, or like a 2.5 model. Uh, 
I've been working on it for about the last three months. Fighter. Okay, that's good. Uh, today, since it's just me, yeah, uh, it's actually supposed to work in conjuncture with this model, but I've not really found out how to work it directly together in Live 2D. So I'm just going to have it by itself for the first little bit. But, yeah. Thanks for the encouragement. We got you. Right, wait, don't want that. Yeah, today my main plan isn't going too far into the story. I plan on mostly just uh, getting some of the nitty gritty base stuff done while uh, both uh, Rob and Eddie are busy with other stuff. Da, da, da. Okay. Um, husk. I don't need crab juice right now. Stack the scales there. Uh, extra. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, hopefully I can get something good back by the time they uh, come back. So... Set that there for now. Oh, acorn top. I didn't need break that. Yeah, ideally, I think I need to get a uh, piece of coal to get the furnace. Because once I have the furnace, I can uh, make the mushroom bricks from what you told me. Supposed to be in here, worker. Ant. Have antline gear. I might see if I can just grab some and run. Like, do you think I could reasonably grab some stuff and just cut it? Or would that be like suicidal? Let me try to kill it with just a whole bunch of spears. Nonsense. Okay, yeah, I'd die fast. Yeah, I was worried about that. So cool mutations, I'm guessing, is just me just dying in the sunlight I'm, a lot, I'm guessing. Yeah, I just need weeds for that. Uh. Eating 10 mints. Okay. So, I need to find... Kind of the Okay, now we have the insect hammer. Uh. Oh, okay. What do I need? 
need for an axe. Okay, I need red ant parts. That's the club. Inside the axe. Okay, I need bombardier parts. I don't get that easily. Uh, stink bug parts and boiling gland. So I need a kill. That's get good. I'm gonna be dying a lot today. I can already tell that much. An ant? Yeah, it's an. Yeah, it's an ant. Got the webs. Okay. We got at least some silk going. That's good. Got silk. All I need right now is just more and more silk. Uh. I need to get wheat. It might be worth it just to change time. Uh, yeah, that's how I would love to put it, build it on the tree. I'm just too worried about a spider climbing up it. Either while I'm building or. I'm done building. Let's just kill some of these snacks. Oh, got a mutation. Uh, mut that is. Oh, shit. They're retaliating. They did not like the fact I was killing their friends. A javelin here. I think the next spear to get is the uh, stinger spear. Feeling a little low energy. <sighs> need to recharge. So I need to go. Get the sweet. There's a lot of ants over here. Enormous amount. I don't know this ant pile's dead as it was, or at least it's not as active as the other one over by the uh, paint can. Spit over here, right? Yeah, I do. That kind of light. I air my yes. But that is another thing I need. Put 
that. That into storage for now. Is it really worth it for me to just craft like a full set of ant armor or should I just not? Is it is it worth it in the long run to craft ant? I would think it would be. What do I need for another piece? Uh one more ant part. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get another. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get some ant armor. Where are you, ants? Come meet your death. Back if it, I need you. Where'd you run? Oh, well. went too far for it. Like, there's a thousand ants here before, and yet they all wander off. I don't know if that's just because they all spawned in, or... Oh, there's one. I think they literally just want to go hunt everything. Probably what it was. Oh, they climb grass. That's where they ran. Okay. I'm... Okay, I think they're fighting a spider because I hear it's like spider noises. Okay, so the aphids will climb grass. Okay. That right now. There it is. Okay. Oh, we need to get more of those, uh, oh yeah, I need to grab some more, uh, weed stems. Sorry if I'm just, like, incoherent in everything today. I just have so many goals I'm trying to get done. There we go. Do I have any food? I've had worse, I guess. Yeah. I was not expecting for them to hit that much of me. Go sit. I am getting better at blocking though. Though most games tell me like Dark Souls, just dodge, don't get hit. So it's a bit weird having to 
go and try to just not get hit here, or to take the hit. I probably need to make a Weevil Shield as well. At some point. That one going, uh, we're going to use So for the castle shrooms, do I need to get a tier 2 axe for that, I'm guessing? I'm, yeah, that's probably what's going to be, is I need a tier 2 axe. I know spiders can climb, but I will just start building on that tree. I have no other ideas to keep the ants out. I wonder how long does it take for grass to grow back cuz it has to grow back right like i can't just delete all the yard and then no more grass like it would have to grow back at some point Gonna relocate them up over here. If it can fit on one flank of grass, I can just. Nope, it's a. Yeah, I probably need to go one more out. Okay, so water.
So you said there was a time limit for how long it takes for the, uh, what is it? For the ants to start attacking? Is like, and measured in days or in like story cycles of like, if I go start just clearing stories, like they're gonna start attacking me faster or is it more of a, uh, Okay, yeah, it probably will be. I think I saw that when I was loading in for like, uh, I guess how many I kill probably marks how much they attack me. If I should go raid their hive, they'll probably follow me back and try to kill me. Oh, I need, I need water. There we go. I am excited to see what they're going to do for the uh, house and shed. I feel that will be a very fun update. I mean, they could even do like two updates for the house and just do like each floor of the house as a separate update. It's like a two story house. Okay, so I'm gonna move all, build a little building up right here. Now those just need weed stems. Rope time four. Healing. Hear that. And a line. Okay. No, tier two. So are these what I use for the castle, I'm guessing?
Okay, so it's just any big mushroom. Okay. That I would need. Bomb and deer parts. I do not feel confident killing on my own. At least not till I get like a base set up. Yeah, you can eat ants. Just gonna spoil anyways. More wooden <laughs> Go in there, Aunt. I don't know if I'm debating if I should probably try to get some white armor. Not. And I don't think you can grow slime molder wasn't letting me before. Those. I know the state. That's it.
10 pallets. So. Actually, it might be. For a second. There we go. There's a whole bunch of damn lines over there. Where I go all that way for dandelion. Stack. You'll light the space up at some point. Crafting. Let's dry grass on the way back. Daybreak. I can go up. Yep. There we go. So, I wonder, if I get like a dark place, could I grow slime mold, or do I need something else to grow slime mold? I need to end my fuzz.
Oh crap, there, there are spiders everywhere. God. Take it nice and slow. Take it nice and slow. Oh, we're fucking getting out. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh shit. That ladybug scared me for a second. Oh fuck. Or Weaver Jr. Or Weaver Jr. Or Weaver Bigger. Or Weaver Bigger. Fuck it, fuck it. Oh, I got them to attack each other. Uh, I'm gonna consume one of those. I don't know if I can run. I don't think I can fight him. I lost six weed stems because I got greedy. That is not Take Okay, got that. Too much fuzz. Craft healing bandage. Okay. I'm going to take this last load. 
up to my noodle little tree platform. Then this thing. big boost in health. Made me drop it. Made me drop it. I need to just get more spears. I try to be clever. I just come away losing a bit more time. Those feet. more manageable. Uh. Oh yeah. Those are pink bugs. Whole bunch of spears. Okay, so I can just craft a whole bunch of spears. I'm just gonna make an actual storage area.
break open shells. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna talk from that one. Don't know. Oh, I uh. Okay, I'm pretty self-sufficient right now. I don't have too much of a problem. Button right there. Craft. Weapons. I'm a dear parts lady bughead. Okay. 
So I'm probably gonna go find someone to fight once. Okay, so that get over over to the house while I'm uh, in the water combat. I don't know how well it's gonna do on land. Take one bombardier off by itself at a time. What is it? Dandelion. Got what I needed without having to deal with those crazy spiders. There's an here. Okay. Everything is turning up good. Okay. That was... Clovers. Now I have a faster path up here. So finish up.
only needs one weed stem. Not a bad trade. Rope and but I am like drowning in shells. My locations, I could just And we're going to put a there. Not the best base, but it's not too bad. Now we have a plank holder. Bandages. I don't, there's just something relaxing about playing base builders. Because even on my own, I can have fun just slowly crafting up a base. Why am I trying to do that? I don't have to worry too much about like other things. Fun. Having fun and just getting a little creative. I don't know what happened there. I think I just like speed glitched into the wall a bit. Okay. Oh, I also need 
set up. I needed it to set up. Get a collector. Quartzite shards. That's There is just so much to do, and I'm not getting much done. Lights was I can craft? Like, pretty sure there should be like a wall mounted. Marker tree. The workbench up on the second level. And I'll just keep on crafting. Craft some I'm just waiting for uh, just a spider to crawl into my base. Is that would be a fun experience? Me just realizing that everything I built is just temporary. Life can come at you at any moment. Back to there. Last one, we should just, uh, okay, so I'm gonna go run around for some plant fiber. I probably should make a, uh, what is it, uh, one that's just going to be plant fiber. Or 
would that be a waste to build a like planter just for plant fiber? Is that I, it could be, but I don't I don't know if it worth it in the long run. Build a Where's it? It's gonna be over here. There it is. I almost washed up, blocked off the edge right there. More rope crafting. We're gonna relocate that. Our base. Destroy that. I'm plant some plant fiber right there. Got some water, so we're just gonna grab some. For morning, and then we should be good. Okay. Three. Oh, for the webs. Turn that into that. Craft, meaning amount, health bandages. Don't need to fight the ants. Ants aren't my problem right now.
gonna do something a bit ballsy. We're just gonna go after go for the bombardier parts. Need the insect timer, so stink bug parts. So I think I need bombardiers to get the uh, boiling plan. Station, uh, ice cap mitt, drop a bunch. Okay, so I think, think stink bugs, or not stink bugs, uh, bombardiers are going to be this way. Oh, that might be husky weeds growing. Where are they? Where are they? There they are, up there. bunch of lawn mites. I think I need to go this way. Oh god, spiders. I forgot that there are spiders everywhere. How can there be so many spiders? Uh, up and off. Oh, clay. figure for some cartoon I don't watch. There's a ladybug. We're gonna go for it. I thought I could just lure into the water. On. Ah. I forgot I had my response set to here. And I get up. And just respawn at the kids' case. Dog print. I was a little bit too confident. Uh, maybe I do just need to go get some slime mold.
make some lanterns, and just grind out some more armor. Because the only other way I can see this playing out is if I just, uh, uh, go ahead and, uh, let's take that. my bag. Uh... Oh, there it is. Go patch yourself up. Like, uh, uh, I have to play. Okay, so we got that done. All signs from that. My parents never let me have soda. Actually, Cycle that. We're just gonna turn this into a little base. Uh... 
just give me a second. Hello. Hey. They just got off work. I'm just kind of base building right now if you want to join me. Uh, I was just kind of on my single player save and it's like, yeah, well, I see he's online. I'll say hello. Uh. So you're just doing some base flipping? Oh uh, yeah, just doing a base building save on a save I have with a couple friends. So I thought I'd offer you to join because it's always better to build with more. Yeah. Honestly, right now I'm uh, exploring the hedges. Okay. I just recently got access to tier 2 stuff, so... So I'm having a good time with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm currently building a base out of a soda can. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, I have no idea if you've completed the game or not, so I'm just like... I, don't want to uh, say. I haven't done much of the actual story. Most of what I've done is uh, uh, what is uh, this base building? Yeah, well, base building and just messing around with friends, you know. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I've been getting help from some of the from the viewers I have. Zell, he's been helping me out a lot. Yep. Hello. Uh, here.
Okay, so we got more. Done. Yeah, I I was coming by here and I noticed though that like the soda can I can fit inside of it, and then I only have to defend this one little area. I'm not certain if it's going to be great or bad. Uh, active. Oh, and sorry I didn't see you sooner, but hi tinted on Twitch as well. I am very bad at spawning things from time to time, so. Go. I also figured building out here in the soda can wouldn't be too bad. There's a science station like literally five feet away from me. The building a little like street isn't bad of an idea. Uh build a only thing that we can't really get here readily is that. Build a I run back to the base real quick. Bomb a deer beetle. Thank you. 
attack. Uh, I don't I have like so many things to do here. Not enough time to do them. So it's some stuff in right. I guess spring bow. Okay. So now we are ready to start hunting. To the night. shoot these gnats just so that way I don't know start go hidden for a mutation for bows
Craft some more bandages. I probably need to get something to go. Uh, I have a feeling that with an excess of arrows, I should actually, can I just, no, unknowns. What can I do over here? Oh, food. That's what it is. Okay. Could be this way is where I want to go. I think this is what, yeah, I passed. It's the dandelion, yeah. Uh, this will, this, there it is. Here's just this one by itself. I think it's this way. This way. This is where I want to go. Oh fuck, bomb deer beetle. We're going to go around. That's the thistle I want to climb up on. Think you can hit me? This 
is definitely a lot more cost effective. Than just shooting a spear at it. Oh yeah. Does it just pick it up if I walk over it? Yes, for arrows it does. I just get the parts. Okay, and for crafting for the hammer, do I need the palmadier parts for the hammer? Got stink bugs. And boiling glands. Boiling glands are bombardiers, I think. This way. That's the way to the little base I want of this building. Okay. But yeah, I definitely see Bo as a very great next point. your back that probably keeps the meat lasting longer so that'd be good Base purple. Fuck, let me in, let me in.
Okay, so they can hit me through the can. Yep, so I have learned good and bad things about that build. I can't get out, so I'll just have to get up. So I got a lot of free silk. But there are problems. Maybe I need to build a gate there. Like, would, it, would a gate stop it? A gate should stop it. That, that's the only thing I could think of is like building a, a gate maybe there? It is fucking Spider Central. All the way to the base. I was thinking, oh my god, I can cheese. I can just cheese that, uh. He's the Orb Weavers. I forgot they had a Yeah, six free silk. That's not too bad. Oh shit. Don't see me. Oh shit. They are annoyed by me. Does that mean they've. They're gonna seek me out more? Do I just live here now? I think I just live my stamina a bit. Okay. So I'm just have to run for it. Not have to run for it.
Actually, 10,000 I can play. Tastes really good. Okay, so if I get up higher, they shouldn't be able to get me. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cut my losses for now. And I'm just going to store some of my stuff back in my base. Okay, I'm mainly just having problems trying to deal with some Oh, uh, I was building a soda can base And uh, it turns out that was in spider territory Too. Okay, so we're just gonna respawn. I need with a strategy. 
Okay, so activate that. Would you like me to join you? Oh, uh, sure. I can show you to the base. Because I'm right at the kid case, so I'll just wait for you to respawn. Actually, I haven't played multiplayer on this yet, so I have no idea how it works. Uh, let me just try shooting you an invite. Okay. Invite to lobby. Oh god, that's a the fucking wolf spider right at the fucking kid case. God. Now that's scary. I think I've out of all the times I've encountered the wolf spider, if I've ever engaged it in combat, I've only survived it twice and I never I didn't kill it, I ran. <laughs> Uh, so you still loading in? Uh, this tells me it, that the, the game password's incorrect. Uh, or that there's a problem. Options. Find background. Uh, try like. Uh, let me try to send you another invite. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't get in, just try, like, ha the password one or something. Invite. Okay, well. I don't think I set a password. Oh, he is but a whisper. Okay. Don't worry, Zell. I shall fix this. Okay. I mean, I can, I can be a whisper. God, that, that is... That is too loud. We go. Say something now. Can uh, you say something? Hi. There we go. Like that's that's about good. Is that better? Uh, just a bit lower. Okay. Okay. Uh. Come on. No, I think the problem is I bet I, it's because I don't have you friended on Xbox Live. Oh. I bet that's what the problem is. Because that's what Grounded uses for online play, so. Oh. Uh. Maybe uh, next time, then. Yeah. Sounds like that's that's the thing. So you've met Burgle? Stop. Yeah. I, I know who Burgle is. Uh. I've gotten some of the water puzzles done for the water lab. I've um, gotten to the water lab. Uh, the only tip I can give you that I've done in my like experience at the water lab is you want a lot of uh, glow moss. Though I don't know how to grow glow moss. Or glow mold. Slime mold. The glowy mold. The bows are really good, though I do want a natural, like, bow mutation. Yeah. I don't know. I've been enjoying using the Red Ant Club. Uh, it is really... It just feels good killing things in, like, two r really slow hits. Well, I like the, uh, what is it, uh, bow and, like, javelins just because... They can chunk people from afar. And I'm not the best at the whole perfect block. Yeah. Honestly, with the, like, lower end bugs, I don't have a problem with it. But whenever it comes to some of the, the higher end ones, man, they're so hard to block sometimes. Or at least get all the blocks you need. 
so. Especially spiders. Spiders are probably the worst defender in that case. Yeah. And I've built my base at the tree, which is just spider central for half the year. Probably not that bad, I think. It's just everywhere I've seen to build a base, it seems to be like, be, oh yeah, it's spiders. And I'm like, great, that's fun. You know? They are everywhere. I mean, you can clear out the orb weavers. Those aren't, look, those aren't wolf spiders, that's for sure. Wolf spiders are a lot harder. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, they do just want to cut cuddle with you in their webs. Yep. They just want to cuddle struggle with you, and I don't want to cuddle struggle. Those. Oh, spider hugs. What? Do spiders give good hugs? They have uh, they have eight legs to do it with. Yeah, but they're nightmare fuel, so uh, I'm gonna say no. They don't. I mean, they don't have to be nightmare fuel. Depends on the, depends on the spider. Have you seen tarantulas? They're so fuzzy. God, I tarantulas are even worse. <laughs> Is it because they're fuzzy? <laughs> uh, like they're they're cute and like Lucas the tarantula, amazingly adorable. Lucas the spider is very cute. Uh, Lucas the Spider real life, I, I would shoot it with a shotgun. <laughs> uh, I have built one really good spot for my base. But the being on the tree is there's a lamp there. So it gives me free nap meat. You know. That's easy food. And it's covered in acorns. It's also pretty easy to get. You don't really have to go looking for it. You can kind of just memorize, like, the spot. <laughs> that it kind of appears in. Oh, yeah. Plus, with... Oh, well, you can put... I was trying to figure out where to put the sap catchers. Oh, uh, you have to put them on the tree roots, or, like, parts of a tree. Because I've tried putting them on branches, and it never works. I was like, well, I guess... I, I don't Maybe you have to put it on, like, an actual these. tree, you know? Which would make sense. I... Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's honestly kind of embarrassing. I wonder where I put the sap catcher. The dirt? There's like these little branches scattered around, but you can't put it on the little branches. You have to put it on the actual tree. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me make some rope. So, I don't have any more axes. Two axes. And while I wait for all the gnats to spawn in and start flocking to my light, I'm going to go here. Like, one good thing to build early on, I found, is, uh, the, uh, what is it, uh, gardens. Just that way, when you go on an adventure, you come back to, like, a bunch of supplies. Yeah, I don't know why I've been sucking on, uh, making gardens for my base. I just, I just haven't done that. God, wolf spider, don't, you don't see me, wolf spider. I think it sees you, but it's pretending it doesn't. It fucking better. <laughs> no, that's funny. Well, the thing is, I, my base, I think, technically might mess with their pathing. 
because I built it right next to like the tree roots and like in the hollow of a tree is where a uh, spider nest is. I almost walked into there once and got some free cuddles I did not want. <laughs> almost. Actually. Scared the bejesus out of me. I was not ready for that. I see you, wolf spider. No, that is cheeky. Oh, you're watching my stream? Well, yeah, because I might as well know what's going on, right? Yep. Damn now. Dang, I'm just like, I wouldn't. <laughs> it definitely does work. <laughs> oh, what is it? Uh. The spider is just like sliding in place. <laughs> uh, one thing to always remember in this game is uh, physics is wonkies at times. Uh. When I was oh, no. playing this, a friend of mine, uh, I threw a hammer at one point, just because we are in a spot like this. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, it bounced off one spider, and killed the next. Now that's funny. <laughs> just to do, like, acceleration in this game. I have a question. So yeah. there's a... So in the pond, right, there's like a the koi fish pond. There's a koi fish, right? Is that dangerous? Yes. It will eat okay. you. I gotta assume there's definitely no way to fight said koi fish. I'd uh it's a little large, so. Oh yeah, it was uh, the the hammer was also on the other side of the tree. Uh it will eat you and chase you. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, you can make decoys to get the scales and, like, bones underneath it. Okay. Okay, that's neat. Honestly, I'm probably about to get raided by old weavers <laughs> in the morning on my save. I made them really, really Inventory. bad. <laughs> It's just funny just seeing that wolf spider just. <laughs> the just thing is, slide. it's it's going to be pretty pissed. <laughs> the anti Jesus. Oops. I think we call that the fact that you don't have infinite arrows in the enemies region whenever th they aren't aggroed. I wish I could use nat fuzz for arrows. That was. I mean, that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Question is, do I run to get my arrows? Uh... I don't think you're. I don't think you're gonna be able to get your arrows back. I think that they're, they're gone. Okay. I, I know what to do. That <laughs> spider's really... He's really going for you. Okay. That's... that's not Oh gonna crap, I didn't set my... I didn't set my respawn point. <laughs> uh. Remind me. Set respawn point. Both the self don't remind you to set the respawn point. Uh. Let's see here. Uh. Oh, maybe I can make a tier two on this then. I uh, know today has been a good day so far. Even with the, I I want to build the base out of the uh, shrink machine. I feel that'd be a cool place to set up like a. 
The castle. Full reset of health and water. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think I told uh, Zell about this, but uh, where I have my base, you know, where that hollow where I had that like dew catcher was. Yeah. That was a like death pit where I charged charged with a spear over and over again to kill it. While a friend of mine kept aggro by uh, hitting it with a like, uh, arrow. I have found ro rocks in combat are fantastic. I love because <laughs> I think it's because this physics sense system is so wonky at times that I mean, when it, something it, hits something, like, it doesn't know how to deal with like the actual physics of the blow. You know? Yeah, but the nice thing about rocks is that when you throw them at something, it can stun. And so, if you're a melee fighter, you can just throw rocks at something. Yeah, that physics is so wonky. It, or at least I like to throw rocks at stuff until it gets stunned and then just run and bonk it a bunch. Uh, I have bet limited success, but it has helped with some of the earlier enemies, that's for sure. I wish you could purify water. Purifying the water. <laughs> yeah, the grounded, grounded space. <laughs> I have seen a. I have seen weed stems go to space after cutting down dandelions. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's like uh, what is it? Another game I loved playing is Satisfactory, and my friend and I discovered the uh, space program for Satisfactory to just build a couple entrances and exits of a uh, hypertube, and it just launches you to space. Okay, so the spider just walked away. So that's good. You need to bonk some ladybugs. Oh. 72. Honestly, I probably underuse bows. The thing is, like, I really need to get a tier 2 bow, and I think to get a tier 2, I need to kill a wolf spider to get the uh, spider fangs. Yeah, uh. That is one ladybug down. I have and like 20. I have like so <laughs> much uh, silk though. This... Yeah, satisfactory railgun. Now, if only launching players at things at high speeds did damage. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Whatever you hit. <laughs> I know that. Funny. I know they said they weren't going to do it, but I would love a like Xeno like more horde mode for uh. What is it? Uh. Satisfactory. I'll admit, uh, while my industry isn't isn't doesn't quite scratch that itch, it, it's a, a game where you uh, build up factories and it's uh to what? increase defenses and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, which one? Uh, my industry. My industry. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. Uh, uh, cause I still need to check out what is it? Uh, Cult of the Lamb. Because uh, that game looks amazingly fun. Cult of the Lamb, yeah. Oh, we're just gonna build this base. Oh, what does it take to repair a bow? Rope, okay. I'm just flying arrows all over the place. <laughs> like, hey, did you did you did you lose an arrow? Yes. Well, we moved it to the other side of the pond. Have fun. Clearly, that's where you shot all of your arrows, even though they were most of them were directly at a wolf spider, and definitely not over there. Well, I shot it in that little, like, ramble, like, root clutch, and it ends up, like, way off by the tripod for some reason. 
Like you place that there, right? Well, I guess I guess that's the grounded space program in action. Yep. I I like that grounded the grounded space program. <laughs> So since you're watching my stream, like how my model moves, I don't think I've ever actually like showed you it and working. Yeah. I mean, looks pretty smooth for the most part. So. Yeah. A friend of mine called it. What is it? Retro 2D or PS2 style. Which, I don't mind, I like that kind of, like, stylization. Because, like, some of those PS2 games still look amazing, you know? Yeah. I mean, PS... Gotta be honest, PS2 is pretty impre good time for video games. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words a lot. <laughs> yeah. I have found, when you're building a base, you want to start with, like, one weed stem, like, platform to, like, level everything. And then everything gets flat, and it's a lot easier to place stuff down. That makes sense. Like the first tier of my base, that's probably going to be destroyed by spiders at some point. Uh, is a. Uh... Oh, spiders can climb. And I've seen them climb all over that tree in the distance. I'm just like, oh fuck. <laughs> but I've already like started here, so... You're committed now. Yep. Where, where am I going to move? To Spider Can? There's even more spiders than Spider Can. Well, you know what? It, sound, it sounds like instead of pouring people cups of spiders, you started, can started canning them instead. It's a bar for spiders, but they just want to kill you. <laughs> I have found if you put your, uh, Zealous told me, and like rightfully so, because I'm dumb. Uh, if you put the, uh, what is it, chest around a workbench, it will uh, draw them for when you build stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh dang it, now I gotta read the sign like half my face. <laughs> oh no. Well you're still like early game, so it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, yeah. Oh. Well that's just a lot of moving things around, I guess. Rat burst. So fungal growth, red and a weevil shield. Okay, I need four weevil meats. That'd be good if I went melee, but I don't think I. Am. I believe. Uh, I do think uh to start doing the water stuff though, you have to get lily pad wax. I'm thinking how to get that. I'm just uh, like, it's, I, I go underwater and I'm too nervous. And I see the coin for shit, like, okay. I, it's I'm that, like, uh, it's the little circles underneath the uh, lily pads on the underside of them. Oh. That makes sense. Because that allows you to make a peplet dagger, which you can then get eelgrass from. Come on. Is there... I don't know. Is there a way to tell a grub from a larva? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, personally, I don't know. But I feel like there should be a way.
I do like how your hotbar will, like, if you have, like, four hammers, it will just auto all hammers instead of having to make you, uh... Uh, what is it? Instead of making it... Like, have to, like, hotbar each one individually, you know? Yeah, that is, that is pretty nice. I should probably take the time to actually go through Because I... I think this. Oh, so that was there. Oh, we're gonna relocate that up. And I kind of like, instead of having the uh, like leaf stairs, I kind of prefer the uh, what is it, the clover roofs. The clover roofs. I mean, the clover roofs look really nice. That's for sure. Just because they look like a nice little ramp. At least for like, uh, Austin. That there. Trying to figure out what what kind of armor set I should make. Uh, what are you trying to do? Well, it's it's more just like. Oh, I meant like well, what fighting style you're trying to go for is what I mean. I mean, I right now it's primarily melee, so. Uh, melee. You probably want to do something like. Uh, do you at least have clover? I mean, I'm wearing grub right now. I'm uh, looking to upgrade, so... God. Looking at... Fucking Fort Spider. I constantly hear the spider whispers, and it's terrifying me like to no <laughs> end. Sp the spider's whisper in <laughs> How would you get any sleep at all? <laughs> if they're just spiders I don't think I do. <laughs> it's just, I think it's just I hear the spiders, and I'm like, yep. The end is near. Almost here. Yeah. Uh, craft. Uh, should I fight one more ladybug? Why not? Uh, just be careful. They are tanks. Remember that. Oh. What is filling up my inventory? Okay, so thistles. I can put that all away. I might build some more chest over here. I don't know. Have you been able to, like, can you upgrade walls that you place down? Can I upgrade them? Yeah. I mean, you can build better walls instead of the other ones, but to my knowledge, uh, no. Someone else might know, though. I think you just build them over it. So you lose that uh, part, but you get stronger material. Okay. So... Get what I was planning for for a long while, the uh, insect hammer. I need four stink bug parts and one boiling gland. Boiling glands are blah, 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 blah. the bombardier beetles.
Uh, can you ask a question again? Someone oh. uh, wanted to talk to me, so... Oh, uh, I think bombardier beetles give boiling glands. Yeah. They do indeed give boiling glands. Okay, so I don't need that. And they certainly can be quite the fight. That's, that's so, for sure. So, dandelion. I don't know. I, I, always, I always love dandelions. Just to do that one meme I saw as a kid. Oh, it's like, it's a rose. Oh, the pH level of the soil is slightly off. I'm going to die. And then you see a picture of a dandelion. It's like, woo, concrete. <laughs> Seems like, yes, that is... All in. Pollens. I didn't even know pollen was like a thing in this game. Oh, you killed the bee or something? No, I was just walking around and I see like these little yellow clumps. I'm like near the tree area right now. And I saw li little yellow clumps next to this, uh, the dandelion. Uh, it could be, that's how you attract bees. Like lure like in the... bees or something? Maybe. I don't really want to fight the bees. I, I I would just feel bad. Because they're just minding their own business. I'm definitely going to turn that soda can. See, one idea is by the end of this playthrough, I want to turn all of the like different like sodas and like uh, juices. Into, uh, what is it, uh, like little bars. I feel aesthetically that'd be very pleasing, you know? Yeah. Or maybe do like a palace on one of the lily pads. Because, uh, apparently, bugs can't swim. Huh. Well, that. That's an easily defensible position, unless there's unless you're getting raided by diving bell spiders. That probably wouldn't be very fun. Well, can thing is, can they? Uh... I mean, they're, they're they're spiders. So I I I would figure the answer is yes. They can they can get on land. <laughs> I guess though. So. I, I don't actually know if they can get on land or not. I haven't seen any on land. Thankfully. Oh no. With how this game is, it could be like, you pissed off the diving spell spiders. And you're just like, Wee! <laughs> And they just swarm. A swarm of diving bell spiders. I can't even... You know that's, what, actually... That's, that's another project I want to do, damn it. I, I, I'm i seeing, like, all the stuff, and I'm like, that's another project I want to do later. You know? Okay, well, yeah. Of, like, uh, you know those, like, wooden logs for, like, the, uh, around the pond? I want to build a, like, medieval, like, wall walkway across them. Just that way I can hit the stick bugs from a safer distance. Oh, this armor set is... Chonk. Yeah, and we're still in like tier 1, tier 2 armor. Yeah. Just I mean, wait, I... wait till you get to the stuff that's like, uh... Tier 3 of like Antlion and like Roly Poly. Roly poly, roly. I haven't seen any roly polies. I'm. I th it's probably roly. in like I think it's over towards the infected zone or like other side of the house or even over by the shed. Because there's a whole I mean, sandbox. I don't even know where the location of the sandbox is. Or yeah, the sandbox is like a whole like area. It's like a desert area. I mean, I haven't really been over there. I'm just 
So far, I've only been to the hedges, really. And I actually need to go back there because there's something I would... It was too dark for me to investigate at the time because I went there at night. Don't go there at night, or at least bring a light or something. Just, oh, just it's just yourself. nothing but spiders. Like, that's one of the places that me and a friend of mine did back when it first got released from the patch. Because I think that's right around when we first got uh, grounded. I mean, it's not just that it's nothing but spiders, it's that you can't see a darn thing! Other than, like, the occasional red yeah. eyes of spiders flying at you, but... That's one of the reasons why I liked the, uh... What is it? The, uh, lamp? Or, like, yard lamp? Is it just lights up the tree location at night? You know? Yeah. I mean, that, that makes sense. It's like, I can see without a torch! While where I'm based up at, if it gets dark, it's just like, okay, I'm blind. Which I still need to craft and research a torch so I can get, like, wall torches. Uh, you can get the, the sconces. Like, the, 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 the sap ones. What do you mean? Uh, there's, like... There's like a sap sconce you can get. How do you get like, that? It it's like in the. Do you know where the lighting section is? Yeah. In the craft. Okay, so it's a uh, on like the the shield with the dead dead ant head on it and the. Oh, sap sconce. That's what it is. Yeah, that that's a well mounted torch. Okay. I've actually moved base once already because I put it too close to an ant hill. Uh, oh, the, shenanigans the active ant hill? It was, yeah. Uh, uh, some shenanigans ensued from that. I would just, want to build a, a base in the uh, stone pagoda. The stone pagoda? Yeah, if if it wasn't like so far in the edge of the map, I feel like that would be a pretty popular place to build. Is that the one in the koi pond? Yeah. I mean, if you can get past the koi fish, you. Oh, you can. It it doesn't actively hunt you. Only. It's just more if you run bump into. If you it. get close to it, it will attack you. Yeah, but uh. Dang, my first two nights on, on in this game, I built a smoothie st station at my base. And I didn't have walls yet or anything, but there were like... I, I would say that there's about 20 ants standing next to that smoothie station after like a night. Oh yeah, if they if they sense food... They weren't, they weren't eating it, it was just... They are just making like slurping noises next to it. They were eating the stuff inside of it. I didn't put anything inside of it. Then it was a gl they glitched out because I think they were supposed to be just eating whatever's inside of it. Yeah, but it's just it's just funny because there's twenty ants. So I was like, is, are they following the smoothie station? <laughs> so I was moving it around around, and the ants were following it. <laughs> so I had an ant train for a while. Eventually, they stopped they stopped messing with it, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. I had, I had gremlins in the form of my own ants for a bit. I wish you could make stem flooring. The weed stem flooring? Yeah. I mean... I don't know, I think the fact that there is a stem floor means you... You have more variation in your floor. But that's just me, probably. Okay, so I'm setting up a little... I hear a spider <sighs> noise, and I'm like, Where the fuck are you, spider? I'm like, oh shit, I'm safe. Me 
maybe I should I should wait till night time. I would find napalm and just burn you all out, spiders. I could lose the tree if I could know you would die. Honestly, I think if you have the right setup, you might be able to just like mega cheese wolf spiders. The well, thing is, I kind of wish. Oh, fucking stink bug! They like five feet from me, and I'm like, yeah. I think within the first hour of the game, I ran into one of those. Is like, what is that? And then it just starts attacking me, and I'm just like, <laughs> I love <laughs> no how idea. that's like that's most of this game is just what is that? <gasps> <laughs> no. I just wasn't ready <laughs> because I'm like almost dead in like two seconds. A full. I don't need that many thistle. Don't need that much clover. Oh, spider. I love this game. I like. I see a spider. Oh no, there's an ant. When you see an ant, you're like, is that a bait, a spy, a junior orb beaver, or is that an ant? And you're like, that's an ant. I'm like, God. Oh no, that, that's a fucking wolf spider. That was a wolf spider. That's spider. Come on, spider, you don't see me. No matter how. Honestly. If it's at least if it's an orb weaver, you can you can fight it and live. If it gets in melee range, but with wolf spiders, they just kind of kill you. Chunks. We're gonna run back to base. I wonder if I just block up that tree on all sides. Will they just not leave? That is a good question. Will they just die and starve? Because like they don't break that little like wooden like uh, not wood plank uh like little uh little leaf uh the little grass wall you have there. Yeah. What if they just face through the wall? Knowing this physics engine, I wouldn't put it past the game. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move the water tank up here. It looks like there's actually something inside of the little pagoda. Because there's a hole in it. Oh, you checked that out? Well, I haven't checked it out. I'm just looking at it right now. Because my base is, has a nice lookout to it. Because I built on the edge of the koi pond because it was like, it's super flat, so, you know. Perfect building spot is on one of the rocks. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't build on one of the lily pads. I mean, the lily pads are even more flat than this, but I was just like, I kind of like this because it's easy to access and I don't. And now that I don't, and I've, I've ever since laying up the, about the koi fish, I'm just like, I don't really feel like going to the koi pond. At all. <laughs> I could do without it. Maybe. Uh, I need to get some sprigs. I just like how there's an item in this game called a sprig. I could make gas arrows. Hmm. Actually. Whoa, I can make it. Barely make it, but I'm just gonna move that up here. Okay. Did you almost fall and die or something? Was it looking? Uh, no. Uh, there's a little twig I used to jump onto my base. So 
but I hit left or right click instead of left click. Oh no. So push my sleep. Minor heart attack. Yeah. Thank you about the wall sconces. Even though it feels like uh my whole house should burn down. You know, I kinda feel the same way, but it's just like the Valheim ones. <laughs> we'll, we'll just say that it doesn't burn down because of uh, where it's such a small scale, the fire is not spreading as easily. I mean, wouldn't that just mean the fire would burn, is more likely to burn out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how fire works. Oh god, the wolf spider is just circling my base now. It's like, I don't, I can't get into my house. It'll <laughs> fall asleep, hopefully. I don't know. I found a, I found a spiderless spot, so I was just like, this is where I'm building. I mean, there are spiders here, but I killed them. This is a spiderless spot. And then just five seconds later, there's a bunch of spiders here for some reason. Why are there spiders in my spiderless spot? I thought this was spiderless. Uh, the rope machine is also very good once you get make that because it can make five uh rope for uh just five plant fiber. I would yeah, guess. it's one to one. It's always nice when something's one to one. Uh, I guess I'll just take this, and I need to go grab berry. Yeah, I think my game's just long enough to where the spiders are. It's like, hey, you've lasted long enough. We're gonna get the spiders out of the cave. Is what I think happened. Yeah, they do kind of, kind of everywhere. You do have to. I mean, I think if you're good enough, you can probably, or you have the stuff. Because really, fighting spiders is really freaking expensive. In general, they're super tough. I think it's balanced for when you have multiple people playing, but because both me and you are playing it like, uh... Ouch. Oh, I do not have the current... Okay, there we go. Oh crap, there's two of them. Okay, that's one big boy down. Just gotta get rid of the other big boy and I should be good. I think these guys did not take long to get back here. I know that there's a merging, like, a very, like, immersive story, but I'm like, I'm having fun just building, like, little grass huts. You know? Yeah. I mean, this kind of nice thing is that, about these kinds of games, that you can just kind of do whatever. It's like, sure, yeah, there's a story, but do you really have to play it? 
Eh, answer is usually no. Oh, darn mosquitoes. I, ha I hate these things. Yeah, so for building my base little thing, just in case I get other people here, I just started, I put some like collection platforms there. Just cause that way it's like, hey, someone just gathering wood while others are just placing it down. Hey, mosquito. I don't like you. The one thing I hate about the mosquitoes is just the life drain they have. They have life drain? Yep. Uh, if they fill up with blood, they will heal over time. So if you use mosquitoes, uh, what is it? Uh, the mosquito, like, rapier, you will gain life drain over time. Or you will have life drain. So it's like a trade off, you know? Yeah. I, I, honestly, I was thinking about using that, but I was like, I like my ant club. You like playing the barbarian? Oh, yeah. Oh. Doing an entire. Doing like. Doing. You can do so much damage to the thing, it's not even funny. If you can get close to it, at least. Uh, if you can't get close to it, it's kind of not all that great. And it prevents you from perfect walking, which is a problem in and of itself, but... Uh, actually, I have a question for you. If you won't mind hopping my stream a bit. Okay, should I have it, like, uh... Should I have a wall right there? Have this, where it's like, uh... Like a, like a window right here? Or should I go... Uh, you can answer to Zell. You don't have to if you don't want to. Or should I go like one up? Go there. And then like have like a little half wall. I mean, honestly, that kind of like kind of like that little half wall idea. Actually, I think I'll do this. I might do that if I do like a second floor. Yeah. I mean, if you're not doing a second floor, then uh, I just maybe don't. Not a good idea. I don't see, see myself doing that just because the whole reason I built this is that way I can shoot down over it. And if I'm that oh, high yeah. up, I don't think I'll be able to shoot down reasonably. Yeah. Darn mosquito! Get out of here! I hate these things. I hate these things in real life. I hate these things in this game. Oh, fun fact. Why not bal balcony with a jump patch? I I could do that, but I think for this first segment, I'm going to do lower, and then I might do a higher segment over by that. Uh, I'm going to have to turn this when I hit that lamp, just because that whole wall turns. So, so I might just do that... Uh, Do that then. Yeah. Uh, fun fact: Disneyland has, or yeah, Disney. Sorry, Disney World has genetically bred mosquitoes to not populate as much. Did not know that. That's actually pretty interesting. It's part of their uh, initiatives to make sure that even though they are in a Florida swamp, uh that uh, they do not have, like, a shit ton of mosquitoes all year round, you know? Yeah. It's also why there's no standing still water in Disneyland, or Disney World or land, so they cannot breed as well. Yeah. Every source of water at Disney World is uh, in constant motion. That is interesting. I only learned that because I watch a lot of YouTube documentaries about like Disney park rides and like amusement park rides. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Yester World Entertainment. I find that very enjoyable just to sit down and watch 
Uh, the fun fact of uh, Disney used to have mer er, people to dress up as mermaids for attraction in like the 70s until they linked that with like skin cancer. That fact is like most of those girls had some form of skin cancer because they were paid just like just sit down and like play in the water in a mermaid costume. So just being right next to that reflective water, just... Ah, fuck. I mean, that, that makes sense. I guess sunscreen wouldn't really help with all of that, with that all that much. Especially if you're exposed to that for a while, so... Balcony with a jump pad. Yep. It's something I'm gonna try for my next wall segment, because I'm gonna build one over the spider way as well. There's an ape in up there. Yeah, it's it's trapped on that like little uh blog post. I just built over it. It's like right beneath me. There's a spider beneath you? <laughs> uh, no, aphid. Oh, there's an aphid so, uh, beneath you. So on that log beneath me right there, it's running around. It's literally like a cat that got stuck in a tree. That's very funny. Right there, you can see it. Boop. 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 There Boop. it is. Uh, that's an orb weaver. So, Zell, you don't have to answer me now, but, like, how do you tame aphids? Do I have to find, like, an aphid egg that I raise up? Or is it just, like, uh, I have to give it, like, a food, like a pale berry, like, satisfactory? Because I would love to have, like, an aphid farm just for the honeydew. You know? Uh, grounded roots. Feed them slurries. Okay. Okay, so I can tame like all the different types of like a lot of different types of bugs. Okay. I was wondering what those are used for. I guess I should have messed around with them more. That's cool, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna build this one out. Okay, so thanks for the tip, Zell. I will be sure to work on a slurry machine later to tame that little guy. Till now, he's safe. And he probably won't starve. Probably. Oh, he will despawn. Uh, nah, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll be fine, you know. Actually, do I have a slurry machine? I think the slurry machine is on the other one I played on. Yeah. Uh, but I can make one. Get out. No, grub sludge. I have a bunch of grub sludge. Aw, a berry fell. Is there like an aphid, like, 
slurry you have to feed it, or just any slurry? I think... That's something to fix later. Like I saw so like I looked in a bit of like what some people have built in this game bases. And it's it's mind boggling, you know? Okay. I don't really looked into that all that much. Just because there like might be spoilers or something. Not all that likely, but it's a possibility. But uh, I have seen a couple things in the Steam community page, so well, there's it, some pretty neat stuff. That's what I looked through, you know. I mean, fair point. Okay, well that was an interesting interaction. I knocked a berry. I knocked a berry down, and I walked into it, and it turned into a pancake. It's pretty funny. You know, something tells me this is a really bad idea. Yeah, I should probably come here whenever I'm ready for it. This is grounded. It's a survival base builder game. That uh it's like honey I shrunk the kids mixed with the forest. It's just as demented because the spiders are huge. And they want to kill you. How do I give you smoothie? I don't know. I tried little one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh yeah. Most people aren't when they see me. I'm going to build a wall. Hopefully keep the spiders out. You know, I think I should turn around while I'm ahead. This, this place is scary. It'd probably be scarier if there was a bee flying around up here. Can't build that. So... Dandelions. I just have
for something cutting off my escape route, so... Oh, what is it? Speak of base builders. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that new, uh, what is it, uh... Sons of the Forest 2? Or the Forest 2 or whatever? Or the sequel to the Forest is. That was a fun game with friends, but I don't know if I get done with playing the Forest by myself. Have you ever played the forest? Me? Yeah. Uh, yes I have. Uh, I played it with some other friends a while back. Pretty spooky game, but uh... I, I'm not gonna lie, uh, what, what my friends and I did to the final boss was honestly really funny. Um, I had a similar situation just because we made it harder on ourselves because uh, me and my friends had just saved up a whole bunch of molotovs thinking yeah we're gonna shoot the boss down it's gonna kill it you know yeah um it just made the boss on fire when it started spinning around <laughs> oh no yeah uh what my friends and i did was we killed the boss with hairspray Because apparently hairspray is strongest weapon in the entirety of the forest. Hairspray saves lives, guys. Or well, I guess it ends lives just as easily, but it ends lives just like it destroys the ozone. <laughs> On you little crabs. Oh, there's so many of them. Why'd you fall that way? Bad luck, I guess. What am I hearing? You're hearing death, my friend. I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I gotta say the fun. I think one of the funniest things in this game is I've looked at the arachnophobia setting because I just like looking at the, that setting in some games because it it uh it can uh, do some funny things. Yeah, it just turns them into a. No, no, you, you don't gotta get me, stink bug. I'm gonna get away. I actually have no idea if the arachnophobia setting makes them less creepy or not. It just dilutes the legs. Well, it just it becomes like the, these two orbs that are just trying to kill you. <laughs> now that's. Now that's horrifying. Oh, 
problem is I have I'm just having to get rid of all this dry grass. You have to get rid of all the dry grass and then it fills up your inventory. Please don't make the beetles hungry. I just want to kill it. I was wondering where that arrow went. The arrow's been there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. We got everything done. Uh. One thing is, like, I can shoot them from my little, like, base. It's just all this dry grass needs to go so I can shoot them with arrows and spears. Easy, you know? Yeah. Which is ironic, because I need that to build the bridge. I need them gone. But if they're gone, I have no reason for the bridge, you know? I mean, I guess that makes sense. The classic stink bug dilemma, you know? The classic stink bug dilemma. Algae. I get my inventory is full. Whoops. And I had a fun time Friday playing a puzzle game with my brother. We spent a good 30 minutes just yelling at each other. <laughs> Cooperative puzzle games. And it was just to the fact of uh, how it works is a game called like uh, We Are Here or We Were Here Together. And essentially, it's, uh, imagine keep talking, uh, and don't explode, or no one explodes, but you switch mid-game who has the, uh, like, uh, reference sheet. Oh boy. So, like, you might be seeing the answer to the puzzle while they have the, uh, Mechanical bits. But yeah, families just yelling at each other sometimes. Classic. There's a spider beneath me, but I'm not gonna piss it off if I don't have to. I think you should make it mad. Oh sh I No no I might have made it mad. No, no, no. You don't see me, spider. Don't see. I don't even. Uh, we just gotta cut down this whole thing of dry grass.
But any games you're excited for to come out? A lot of games I'm excited for. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. Well, it's fun hanging out with you. I think I'm gonna go now. Yep. See you later. Oh, hope you all have a good night. Grab some more. Total Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. Okay. That sounds impressive. Out in two days. I might have to check that out later. I'm not really good with grand strategy kind of games, but I enjoy them every once in a while. Because I think I've seen... I want to say like Russian Badger did a video on like a Total War Hammer game. I think I saw. If I'm thinking of the right game, I might be thinking of something wrong. Is it kind of like a RTS? I'm gonna guess where it's like a what is it? Kind of like a. Remember name of it. Break. Daylight, I can actually see them. So once I get some food, I should be able to just kill them easily. A turn-based strategy, real-time tactics. Okay, yeah, I think I've seen it. I think I've seen some of them. I'm pretty sure I've seen that one. Yeah. Uh, it looks exciting. Like, I'd have to sit down and actually, like, learn it to play it. What do we need? Oh, yeah, food, food. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely like a lot of games out there nowadays that as I've gotten older that I find myself enjoying more and more. Like turn based strategy and like real time battles sounds like a great combination. That 
access. Okay, so like, is there any exciting faction to play in that game that I should look into if I think about getting it? Because I think that's the one with like the dark elves, the rat people, and like the lizard men that are like have the dinosaurs. I want to say. Sorry if I just like sound like trivializing it. It's just I'm trying to. I don't. Misjudge that. Misjudge that. My wall idea is amazing. I can farm these with arrows, like, no problem. Keeps some chaos. It's... Okay. Up, up. Okay, so you had the uh, Legion of Chaos. Yeah, a lot of races. Oh, what is it? I know it's not the total Warhammer. I think it's like the 40k, but I also enjoyed, what is it, the... I think I was going to get in like 40k back in the like, day in college. A friend of mine like wanted to know what like, army I'd want. I just had to tell him I would play Tyranids. Because that's just... Deep. I definitely love. Oh, hey, hey, Rexy. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for chatting in. Uh, uh, 40k is kind of cool. Like, I love the background, the, the dark fantasy lore of it. But it's a definite grim dark universe. Oh, drink or die. I am going to die of thirst. Uh, yeah, but pushing back the release date of a game isn't too bad. I'd, I'd rather a game be pushed back than uh, it come out a broken mess. Is that they need time to iron out a few more bugs for it to be playable. It's always 
preferable than uh them to rush it and get an out and it doesn't work properly. Where are you, spider? Not building comp. Well, where is the combat? Vermintide? That's, that's another, like, war game I probably have to look into at some point. There they are. There's two of them. They did not like the fact I broke their webs. Press. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba.
Got that. I wonder why there's not that many like, king bugs out here. I've only seen like one. more grass pieces. I should rebuild the stairs. Lighting. Lighting is...
that. And it's here. Wait. There we go. Um, on point. Okay, a little bit wonky, but it'll have to do for what I want. Way to fill that gap. on
Okay. Oh shit. I was not expecting it to shoot me. Uh, it's getting pretty late. I might call it here. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a good night. I'll probably see you this Friday if you decide to join me back. Good night.